That's going to tweet about me. Hello, just tweet in the announcement. Okay, let's get started. Hello. We are just chatting. online comedy, the Timbo Bimbo of Team Four Star, the man, the myth, the comedic legend, the man that literally put manliness in comedy. Oh, talk art. Mm. Man, he is the all father of each of I hope y'all just feel just a little bit uncomfortable with me being so, so close. But despite all of this, <laughs> this is our purpose, because I'm just fanboying out. Takahata has returned home to be to me. Oh, he's been gone away for far too long. My father, my father, oh thou my father of comedy, where have I been? Oh, taking care of yourself, I understand. Mm. Oh, we missed you so. We missed you so. Oh, oh, Father, he did. The man that made so many memorable roles that I hold so dear, such as. Vegeta! Vegeta! Shut up, Nappa! Hello there. <laughs> I'm gonna suck you dry now. So this is what lips feel like. <laughs> Oh, mother's oh, Even that of... Police girl. Police girl. I am inside your head. Now, bring me closer to your boo. Alright, now what I want you to do is put me between your... God damn it! Imperfect set, Napa, such iconic roles, and I can't even do them all. Paka Arnada has set a core staple for the internet of what it means to stand out to be your own online presence. This man has literally made a career out of being a comedic Hilarious, over the top, lazy man of a funny man, and I could not give him any more mad praise than I did right there. This man has set a standard of what it means to stand out and be your own hilarious act. It's fine to quote him every now and then. It's fine to intimidate. Well, not intimidate, but uh, that replicate his acts. But you should never overdo it. You should never have it become part of your act. It's fine to do a hilarious little quote or joke every now and then, but he's always the one that truly believes if you want to have a comedic role, you should always find a way to stand out the rest. This is Takahara Arnott. The man that made Team Four Star a comedic genius. And he, when he entered the VT scene, he opened doors. And now that he has returned, I hope he uses Weary 101 to open those doors for new online celebs. 
Let's begin. Taka Arnott is a man from a magical place called Canada. Born and raised in the magical overall weird leafy country of Canada, where maple syrup is a delicacy, a moose is the country state at state mascot, and even more than that, the Mounties are always wearing red, and for some reason always have a musket. Me, but even more so. Taka Arnott is from this magical place. One fateful day, during a convention, he ran into two gentlemen that uh, also did their own abridging series. One was Lanny Pator, and the other one was Moscow X. They eventually got uh, one guy be with them as well in that scene of that fateful day. It was none other than Curtis. The mad script writer, one of the four main script writers of Team Four Star, and the main editor, the man that made all the abridging series stand out. Do you know what makes a series so iconic? And gives somebody an image that is never really noticed? is an editor, someone that edits the magic of the show. As these three, uh, two of them just at, at obviously, Curtis, eventually they invited Taka or not. These are the four faces of Team Four Star. And the name Team Four Star is not synonymous with the four most popular actors. They went with Team Four Star because of the Four Star Dragon Ball. And you know what? It's pretty catchy. Team Four Star. A catchy name. A catchy name that caught on so well. And one of the most flagship funny men amongst them was Taka or not. The straight guy was Mosco X. Curtis? Well, Curtis is Curtis is Curtis. Lanny? Well, he's funny, but he can also be very serious. And then, and then there's Taka, the most hilarious man amongst the group. And they all agree that, yes, Taka or not is the most hilarious himbo amongst them all. They all have their brand and fields of comedy, but Taka or not has that. He is more than gold. If I would have to put the four of these people in a, a metallic polish or a metallic form, I would put, obviously, Curtis in bronze, Masako in silver, Lanny in gold, and Taka or not, an absolute platinum if they were single. But if you put them all together, and they become something more. With bronze, silver, gold, and platinum comes diamond. And they formed a diamond. Team Four Star. And Taka or not rode the wave to success with all the people a part of that run. That team. Team Four Star. And this is where Taka or not. He got noticed. He got famous roles in Borderlands. Dragon Ball games as well. I, I heard he was in a Fallout game. Or at least one of them. Anyways. And they did other iconic roles for Dragon Ball games. So, which is Dragon Ball All Z. I think it was a Budokai one. So, uh, they were also in a Dragon Ball Z like... Uh, Gosh, it's, it's like that uh, um, one where like a whole bunch of players can join. Like, please forgive me, I'm not a Dragon Ball gamer. All right, like I've seen all the anime, I've seen all the abridged series of theirs, and I've seen all the original anime, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, 
Dragon Ball GT. Never mention Dragon Ball GT at, at a convention unless you want to have uh, your entire upper half blown off by a Kamehameha and the lower half blown off by a Final Flash. I kid you not, GT is just like obviously murder worthy at mentioning at a convention. I had a friend that did it once uh, at a Dragon Ball convention. Never do that ever. We got so messed up. Okay? Alright. So, piece of advice, never mention Dragon Ball GT at an anime convention or a Dragon Ball convention. Fair? Fair. Alright. So, back on point. Haka or not is the man and one of the main faces of that. But, uh, when their content started to feel a bit dry, then they start to go through burnout. And then through that burnout, eventually Taka or not, and Team Force are sort of split paths. Even now, Taka or not is still a VTuber. And he's just made his return. But when he split from Team Four Star, he's like, Alright, I need a new gimmick. I need something that plays to my overall feels. I need something to literally Obviously, give me that new glitz and glamour of like fame and even that of just twistedly entertaining others. Where can I go with this? He thought to himself, wait a minute, there's something new. Oh, what's this? Moving models. They're moving. The face lips, the face is moving, mouth's moving, the eyes moving, nose twitching from time to time, body moving, left. Right there, oh yes. And he thought, that's it. What is this glorious good God? He goes, and he probably found out BTs or VTubing, as they used to call it back in the day. <laughs> I get it. Oh, it's just a special kind of twist of the hilarious antics that I can get into and entertain the masses through it. What did he end up doing? He done did it now, folks. He became a VT. And he gained such bad respect with other VTs. Such as... Bullshit of Bullshit Media. Project Melody of V. Soto. Haka Caribou. Even though he doesn't like mooses. Haruka's not a moose! She's a caribou, there's a difference. And, and even that of Amelie. And various, so many various VTubers. I'm still in the courtyard of Froggy and Taka being a thing. But I understand he's got a soft spot for Kim Rai. Fair enough. I mean, him and Kim Rai are like a pretty freaking tight, I'm not gonna lie. And, like, even though Kim Rai hasn't been seen for a long time, there's still talks and rumors in the scene that they still are, you know, like, very close with one another. And I'm so glad. But despite all this, Haka would do something that would bridge, oh, make a huge bridge and, and fix a huge gap. He would forge a bridge and make something so memorable. The Weary 101. A segment that would gap VTubers and bring them together to row, joke out, nerd out, geek out, freak out, play out, and mess about his bar. And when Taka Arnott did this, he was the only VTuber that ever did something like this. Because he was the first. It was groundbreaking. There was collabs before, but nothing like this. He broke the mold. He broke the surface. He became an innovator. A brilliant man with a brilliant plan. It worked. He started getting all these connections and meeting all these people online, getting all these huge, like, six VTuber collabs to join 
around the ball. Such people as Mother Heavenly Father, even the out of the T Rex dinosaur, <laughs> or the show of BT, a mad scientist from time to time. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Even though nobody's seen him much, a, a candle type guy. Heck, he even had girl DM as a casual there. He made Weary 101 a source where VTs can come together and put aside their differences just so they can just be who they are while entertaining the masses in such a hilarious manner. And this is where, obviously, Taka Arnott is seen as the old father of VTubing. He is seen as the man that can make it where anything is possible for VTs as long as they show up in the Weary 101. Oh, so beautiful because. And I hope he continues to do so. He gains, he entertains, he talks, he engages, he collabs. Oh, the collabs. Oh, I cannot even talk even more so about this man. If he would be a woman, and I'm the man, or if I'm a woman, he's the man, I'd be like, Hey, can we die? <laughs> but we're both men, so like that ain't gonna happen. So, yeah, not like, mm, that, that man's just got a whole new level of like epicness to him. I cannot deny. From everything this man has done, he is such a glorious, delicious, sweet, tantalizing, mortalist treat. I just want to eat all of them. Oh, maybe I'm geeking out a little bit too hard, or nerding out, something I don't know. But Taka or not, as I wanted to keep this stream relatively short, just talking a little bit about the history of Taka or not, and like the love, respect, admiration, overall feels for the man, the myth, the legend, the father, the Asgardian leader of VTs, Taka or not, has come. I cannot give this man more praise. As tomorrow is my day off, and it's going to be my day off from streaming, first time in a long, well, ever, actually, I'm going to be taking Saturday off. I'm literally just going to sleep myself away Saturday and take a huge break. And when I wake up fresh, and bright-eyed and bushy tail. I'm gonna start working on a couple original videos and obviously get that, that other channel up and going for my original video content. I will give an announcement and I will update all my platforms with this new, new channel almost effective immediately after its completion. As I'll be porting over all original videos that I deem worthy of being on the channel of my BT, and even more so, new future projects will be on that channel. As my current channel will only be ready for streams to be poured over, the other one will be for my original content. And I'll be working out the name of this channel tomorrow after I wake up. If you'll excuse me, cadets, I have been Commander Devon Lionheart, your beloved commander of C-Next Gen. I am so glad that I could just express myself in such a beloved, positive manner and just give the absolute feelings of happiness and glory as our beloved All-Father of BTs has returned. Maybe one day I will be able to join him on the Weary 101. But until that day, 
I will work hard on my eye streaming, my original content, and everything else. Tomorrow I will also be working on a new video, obviously with a new schedule for next week. So, I'm so glad I can just geek out and just talk about one of my many overall all just absolute online and well-respected VTE like I wouldn't say dare say like you know I don't know how would you put it like celebs Idols? No. Crushes? No. I don't have a crush on Talk Hour, not even though it sounds like it right now. Um. Well respected VET brothers. I see him as a VET brother in the spectrum. And that's how I will always see him as a brother and as a father figure in the VT scene. Welcome home. I'm so glad you've returned. We missed you, Taka or not. We missed you. Welcome. Welcome back with open arms. I wish I could open them right now. But I can't. I locked them in place. Just for you. Thank y'all so much. Poodle. I. I'm out it. I wish Taco would tell me a bedtime story sometimes. And give me a good night smooth on the forehead. Tell me everything will be okay. I'm cutting off transmission. <laughs> Later. Oh. Welcome back, Daddy. We missed you. <laughs>